Science, guys. We're talking science here. You ready for some science? Let's get to it. Dude, that is incredible. Reviews, reaction, satisfaction. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'll say the whole thing. All right, today's video. Oh boy, I, you guys, if you have not seen my reaction to the Kiledi findings back uh, from last year, they found more stuff. They found more stuff. And thank you so much to Sunday Distributors, Arun Prasanth Natarajan for um, putting this video together. This is awesome. Link will be down in the description to the channel. Please go subscribe to it. Please go show them some love. Um, they have 250 lakhs subscribers, um, 254,000 subscribers. So please go show them some love. But their stuff is good. Um, it's super interesting. And for me as an American, I love seeing this time of history because I'm a history guy. I love history. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to see what is the new stuff that they're finding at Kiladi, okay? Because this just, this stuff blows, it's amazing. It's amazing. So let's watch it. Here we go. Hello folks, so we are here to discuss about prehistoric revolutionary finding, which is carbon nanotubes, which has hit the news very recently and has made headlines. So let's get to know what is a carbon nanotube. Yeah, I was going to say, what is a carbon nanotube? I Ancient don't know. people's lifestyle and creation always remains challenged to the modern day scientific and engineering methodologies. Weapons made out of stone, water management systems, architectural intelligence, urban-based civilized lifestyle, industry-based trade sectors, and many more are standing examples around us. And many of us have got unanswered questions within. Archaeologists, scientific scholars, geological researchers, and many more activists <laughs> are trying to solve these puzzles. That looks like something today. I saw from the show Discussing Alias here and one such finding, which is carbon nanotubes. So what is a carbon nanotube? I don't know. Carbon nanotubes are cylindrical molecules that consist of rolled up sheets of single layer carbon atoms, which is graphene. Like they are building block graphene, carbon nanotubes are chemically bonded with sp2 bonds, an extremely strong form of molecular interaction. Time out. Time out. Science, guys. We're talking science here. You ready for some science? Let's get to it. This feature, combined with carbon nanotubes, natural inclination to rope together via Van der Waals forces, provides the opportunity to develop ultra-high strength, low-weight materials that possess highly conductive electrical and thermal properties. They can be less than one nanometer in diameter. That's the speciality. So how are these carbon nanotubes made? The process currently holds the greatest promise since it allows the production of larger quantities of carbon nanotubes under more easily controllable conditions and at lower cost. In this process, manufacturers have combined a metal catalyst such as iron with carbon-containing reaction gases such as hydrogen or carbon monoxide to form carbon nanotubes on the catalyst inside a high-temperature furnace. This process is what is called carbon vapor deposition. The carbon vapor deposition process can be purely catalytic or plasma supported. Plasma supported requires slightly lower temperatures, which is 200 to 500 degrees Celsius, than the catalytic process, which requires up to 750 degrees Celsius of temperature. That's hot. That's hot. Very hot. And aims at producing lawn like carbon nanotubes. Kind of like growth. me, I'm hot. So what are the properties of this carbon nanotubes okay, and how are they used? Let's get into this. Come on, what are we... Apart from their electrical properties, which they inherit from graphene, carbon nanotubes also have unique thermal and mechanical properties that make them intriguing for development of new materials. Their mechanical tensile strength can be 400 times than that of steel. 
it's much much stronger wow and they are very lightweight their destiny is one sixth of that of steel their thermal conductivity is better than that of diamond and they have a very high aspect ratio greater than thousand that is in relation to their length they are extremely thin all so these they've got to be worth a ton of money carbon then. nanotubes Sorry, ideal I've, candidate I've, for be thinking about money but. electronic devices chemical or electrochemical and biosensors transistors electric electron filled emitters lithium ion batteries white light sources hydrogen storage cells cathode ray tubes and electrostatic discharge and all kinds of applications stuff. that's a wide array of application in itself i guess then what are the previous I'm pause it. I, i'm sorry we're getting into like a bunch of science stuff here guys but this is stuff they're finding in kiladi this is stuff they're finding there this is insane this is like this is science dude like high crazy science historic findings regarding this carbon nanotubes which just hit the news recently so we understood the basics of carbon nanotubes so far but the original discussion and real mystery begins here when we apply the above process and application to an ancient day which is 2000 years before where no electricity was known that is what is making it more interesting yes but originally in 1991 sumio lejima published a ground breaking paper in nature journal and thus introduced a new term carbon nanotubes to the scientific world by delivering um deeper knowledge into the history and digging little more regarding the carbon nanotubes it becomes quite apparent that the origin of carbon nanotubes could have even be prehistoric in nature revolutionary findings which is for the past couple of years evidences to prove that the tamil civilization is the cradle of all other civilizations around the world are excavated from kiladi Tamil Nadu. Six phases of excavation. Prehistoric. You guys got stuff in Tamil Nadu that's prehistoric. Carbon nanotubes in Kiladi in Tamil Nadu. You're old. You guys are old. <laughs> Whoa. Have conducted around this region. and in the sixth excavation a revolutionary finding has come out which has left the scientific world completely speechless unique black coatings were observed in the inner wall of pottery shreds excavated from kiladi tamil nadu india raman spectroscopy transmission electron microscopy and x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy were used to understand the nature of the coating the analysis revealed the presence of single multi-walled carbon nanotubes and layered sheets in the coating the average diameter of single walled carbon nanotube found to be about 0.6 somewhere between plus or minus 0.05 nanometers i don't even know what that this means this is the lowest among She's the single walled carbon nanotubes she's talking way over my head right now reported way from the artifacts so far and close to the theoretically predicted value of 0.4 nanometers these nanomaterials were coated in the potteries that date dates back to 6th century BC and still Six. retain its stability century and addition so there are few questions that arise in us after going through all of this information regarding carbon nanotubes so the modern day usages of carbon nanotubes were not possible before 2600 years ago the wide range of potteries excavated from various archaeological sites have its inner side polished with black coating this needs more investigation and research to showcase our ancestors had deep and broad scientific knowledge from the above properties and findings then here are the following questions that we've got in our minds under what circumstances this carbon nanotubes were attained for example industrial infrastructure or furnace lasts with high temperature catalysts and its sources processes etc next thing is what would be their need or purpose to use carbon nanotubes next what would be the purpose of using carbon nanotubes in pottery then to be as cytotoxic is one of the property of carbon nanotubes these potteries were used for edible preparation and preservation which means it has the poisonous character to living cells 
and this is used in modern day chemotherapy drugs to kill cancer cells in cancer patients. Oh, wow. The next thing is what was the Tamil names for every phase and the overall metallurgic process? Okay. Link will be down in the description to the original video. Video. Link will be down in the description to their channel. But this is what I got from this video. Um, a lot of science way over my head. I, way over my head. But this is what I took from this video. You guys in Tamil Nadu are one of the oldest societies ever in this entire world. This stuff is old, you guys. I mean, crazy old, the stuff that they're finding here. And the fact that it's all right there in Kiladi, it's so cool. It is so cool. It, look, I would love to visit there. I know I can't go in and start, you know, exploring and everything, but dude, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible, um, the stuff that they are finding there. So do you, look, so people back then were just straight up just, they were smarter than us. I feel like they're smarter than us. I, I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. Craziness. Anyway, Kilidi, more amazing things coming out of there. Absolutely incredible. Love it. Great job, Sunday Distributors. Um, love this video. Good job. And, um, yeah. I, leave a comment down below. Would I mean, I don't know. Whatever you want to leave a comment. I mean, leave a suggestion of something else you want me to watch. Leave a comment about the Kilidi. Leave a comment about, uh, you know, how proud you are to be if you're from Tamil Nadu. Um, whatever. Just leave a comment. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for being here. Nandri, I appreciate you. Like, panaga, share, panaga, subscribe. Panaga. We'll see you next time. Bye.